Hi, my name is Andy Fairhurst and I am a massive Star Wars fan. Um, I first saw Star Wars when I was five, actually I might have been six because I think I saw it in early 1978, so I might have been six, I don't know. In a little town called Clandidno, or if you live in England, Landedno, and a little cinema which is now a KFC I think. Um, I'm pretty sure my mum uh, let's take the day off school to go and see it because I do remember we were supposed to be going to school but went the wrong way and ended up at the cinema watching it and when we came out I think we went and got a Star Wars figure I think I, I got two, I've got Darth Vader and Chewbacca if, if I remember rightly and, and I used an old toy box uh, an old uh, tissue box as the Millennium Falcon but uh, it had a massive impact on me um, it's been my favourite film, it's actually the first Star Wars film, or the fourth Star Wars film, depending on which era you're from. Uh, New Hope is probably my favourite film ever. I know it's everyone says Empire Strikes Back, but I think purely out of nostalgia, it's Star Wars uh, New Hope. Um, and it had a massive impact on me because it's pretty much... It's the, the one thing I can remember, it's the one thing I can remember that got me into drawing and into artwork and into pop culture um, and into being a geek I suppose well, it's the new it's, it's trending to be a geek now but you know I've always been into Star Wars I wouldn't say I was a ma I wouldn't say I was a massive like uber fan and I knew everything about the the expanded universe um, but for me it was just the films the toys probably because I was so young at the time I don't know if it was because I was young and it was the first massive sort of blockbuster I'd seen um, but I don't know it's just magical, it's science fiction it's fantasy, it's you know, boys own stuff it's got lasers, robots baddies princesses everything, so yeah loved it I draw, I do my own stuff, but I tend to go back to doing pop art, so I'll do stuff that I love, like Back to the Future, Batman, um, but it, Star Wars for me is one that I always keep revisiting, and, and lately I've been really lucky in having a lot of my work being officially licensed by Lucasfilm and sold um, by you know companies like Bottleneck Gallery in America and Acme Archives, and it's an absolute honour to have, you know, uh, my Star Wars art um, being recognised, being recognised, I think I'm being licensed, <laughs> recognised, not Banksy. So yeah, um, that's that's been brilliant, and I've got a few things coming up as well, um, a new set of Star Wars, and and I hope it continues because I, I love nothing better than um, drawing Star Wars. My favourite moments from the first movie at the opening scrawl has got to be one of them straight away. That was pretty impressive, followed by the uh, the spaceship, the Death Star appearing on screen, massive, brilliant. Um, I think the thing I remember mostly was the the canyon on the Death Star and the Tie Fighters chasing Luke and the Millennium Falcon blasting. De um, Darth Vader off into space. I think that was the the one thing I remember the most about the film. That and the sewer, the sewer, the the um, trash compactor scene. Um, first time I saw that at the cinema when they were getting squashed. That was my first taste of nail biting, suspense sort of you know that sort of thing. That sticks with me. Um, and I think. The cantina bar as well, that stuck with me because of all the creatures. I mean, again, it's a five-year-old, five-year-old remembering, six-year-old remembering these things, but hammerhead in the in the, in the the cantina bar, Jowers, the, um, the, the band playing. Oh, there's so many things to remember, though. It's, um, yeah, th those are the things that I, I remember, rem uh, remember remembering, if you know what I mean. I think the music is the thing that takes me back. The music, more than anything, takes me right back. Um... It's just music in general does that, I think, more than anything else. I think smells do it as well sometimes, but music in general does that. And, and the theme tune and certain parts of the, the sounds, the, the score, just take me right back. And 
I th yeah, I think it's Luke Skywalker's theme more than anything. You know, the one we're standing on Tattoo and looking at the the the, tw the, the suns. I think that's the thing that takes me back most to that sort of feeling of Star Wars. It was a film, but it's it's hard to explain, really. You know, the, things like you know, I know Boba Fett wasn't in the original film, but it was in, in Empire Strikes Back, and he was only in it for a few seconds. But how does someone who didn't actually do anything really, if you if you think about it, have such an impact on? You know, because I remember being in like the late nineties, and, and and it wasn't as trendy to like Star Wars, I suppose. It had sort of gone and it had been and gone, and people had sort of forgotten about it. But I still used to love, you know, I loved it. it was about nineteen ninety, ninety one or something like that. I remember saying, to "Someone, I'll ask, I'll absolutely love Boba Fett," and they said, "Why? He didn't do anything. So just he's the coolest character. He, he, you know, that was it. He was cool. He didn't need to do anything else." And I don't know what it is about Star Wars, but it's just the whole mood feeling about it. I'm looking forward to seeing The Force Awakens. It's probably, you know, I'm probably the first time, this is the first time in decades when I've felt this excited to see something. So if it, if it's, if it doesn't work, if it doesn't, if it's not a good film, I probably will never watch a film ever again in my life. Ever. <laughs> because the expectation is so high. So, but in JJ, I trust. Um, and I don't care what George Lucas says, hand shot first. Geek Force!